From the very beginning, Star Tours was hailed as a technical breakthrough in theme park engineering, a distinction, however, that would gradually fade as time went by. True enough, after several years, it became increasingly apparent that the attraction needed an upgrade. In 1998, a group of Imagineers were convened at Skywalker Ranch by George Lucas with the intent of creating a new version of Star Tours. Lucas, who was directing Episode 1, The Phantom Menace at the time, presented the Imagineers with the film's pod race scene, as a possible plot for a new incarnation of Star Tours. The Imagineers explored the concept and developed a storyline where guests would have been taken to Tatooine during the Boonta Eve classic and accidentally become part of the pod race. However, since Lucas was still working on the prequel trilogy, the Imagineers agreed to wait until George had finished the films before determining what locations were to be featured in the 3D attraction. By the time the second trilogy was complete, technology had advanced enough to allow the attraction to feature multiple locations and destinations at random. By 2007, a story matrix was created for the ride that mapped out two introductions, three detours, three hologram transmissions, and three finales, which when permutated, total a possible 54 unique ride combinations. In preparation for the revamped attraction, the American versions were closed in 2010, with Tokyo's version following suit two years later. To take full advantage of the Star Wars universe, the attraction, dubbed The Adventures Continue, was set between the prequel and original Star Wars trilogies, unlike its predecessor, which took place after the events of Episode VI, Return of the Jedi. With that action, the attraction itself had to be transformed to reflect the new time frame. The star speeders were redesigned, and the attraction's queue was modernized. New characters were introduced, including a spokesbot named Ali Sansan, voiced by actress Allison Janney, and Ace, who replaced Rex as the attraction's pilot. As the project was further developed, the Imagineers decided to shift piloting duties from Ace to C-3PO because 3PO's bumbling personality was similar to that of Rex, and would make the experience as familiar in tone as before. The story was then reworked into this. Before the passengers board, C-3PO arrives to revise the ship for maintenance. However, he becomes trapped inside the cockpit, unbeknownst to the crew. As the star speeder takes off, it's revealed that one of the onboard passengers is actually a rebel spy, who is being actively pursued by the Empire. The result is a precarious mission across the galaxy to try to return the spy safely to the refuge of the Rebel Alliance. Just as before, Anthony Daniels returned to portray C-3PO, along with a few other cast members who reprised their roles from the films, including James Earl Jones as Darth Vader, Frank Oz as Yoda, and Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia. Interestingly enough, Leia's portrayal in the attraction is actually unused archival footage from Episode 4, A New Hope, with Fisher redubbing some of her lines. New voice talent included Tom Kane as Admiral Akbar. D. Bradley Baker as Boba Fett, and Patrick Warburton as G2-14. Other familiar characters such as Chewbacca, Han Solo, Sebulba, Jar Jar Binks, and Mon Mothma have cameos at some point during the ride. Composers John Williams and Michael Giacchino worked on the attraction's music, with Williams repurposing musical cues for the ride's score, and Giacchino handling the music for the pre-show. Star Tours The Adventures Continue opened with overwhelming fanfare on May 20th, 2011 at Disney's Hollywood Studios, with George Lucas and Disney President and CEO Bob Iger headlining the ceremony. The successor attraction opened a month later at Disneyland on June 3rd, and two years later at Tokyo Disneyland on May 7th, 2013. In the Adventures Continue, the queue remains essentially the same, with the exception of a few enhancements. The most noticeable difference is in the maintenance room, where the eccentric G2 droids are now busy processing luggage and scanning passengers. As a tribute, a malfunctioning Rex can be spotted among a group of other defective droids. Further in, passengers retrieve their 3D flight glasses and board their star speeder. With C-3PO at the helm of the ship, R2-D2 guides the Starspeeder onto the terminal runway, 
At this point, one of two scenarios may occur. Either Darth Vader or a pair of stormtroopers arrive in search of the rebel spy who was identified on screen by an image captured by an onboard camera. The ship escapes the hangar and jumps to light speed, unknowingly entering one of three scenarios. A skirmish between rebel and empire forces on the ice planet of Hoth. A speeder bike chase on the Wookiee planet of Kashyyyk. Or the Bunta Eve pod race on the desert planet of Tatooine. After escaping either scenario, the ship receives a hologram transmission from either Princess Leia, Yoda, or Admiral Akbar, relaying coordinates on where to deliver the rebel spy. The ship jumps into light speed again and arrives at one of three other scenarios. An underwater crash landing on the Gungan planet of Naboo. A massive space battle over the city planet of Coruscant. Or an ambush by Boba Fett in the asteroid rings of Genoesis as it's orbited by the Death Star. After enduring either scenario, the Rebel Spy is returned and the ride experience concludes. Since its debut in 1987, Star Tours has left an everlasting mark on Walt Disney Imagineering, ushering in a new age of storytelling, imagination, and technological endeavors. Its enduring legacy even went on to transcend the theme parks. The experience of working with Disney for a quarter of a century left such an impression on George Lucas that when it came time for him to let go of his universe, he couldn't think of a more well-suited home for it. The circle was now complete, but just with all great stories, there are still more exciting chapters to behold on the horizon.